videos and we have another LEGO Harry Potter set review. This is set 75955 Hogwarts Express. It is recommended for ages 8 to 14 and has 801 pieces. And this is a huge set. It's my first LEGO train set. And I really, really like it. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And we're just going to go right into the minifigure right here is Remus Lupin. And he is my favorite minifigure of this set. As you see, he has a briefcase and a wand. He also has tan legs and a very, very cool uh, torso print. He has a shirt with a uh, vest on and then he has a jacket on. Uh, lots of details and I also like his uh, uh, hair piece. I believe this is one from one of the Lego Movie minifigure series. It's very, really nice. And he also has his face print which is extremely nice. As you can see, he has a stubble around here which is probably the most detailed stubble I've ever seen on a Lego minifigure. He also has uh, a kind of a mustache and a, uh, I don't really know what you call that thing. And he also has a scr two scratches on his face which obviously he's a werewolf. Uh, spoiler alert. So yeah, this is a very nice figure and on the back of his, uh, on his other face he has his yellow eyes so this might be when he's transforming into a uh, werewolf and I really really like this this is very cool it's kind of creepy sometimes too and yeah that he is my favorite minifigure of the set so now we're just gonna go into the second this is the trolley witch and as you can see she has uh, gray curly hair which looks really cool um, I don't really remember what she looks like in the from the uh, movies but I do really like her face print uh, the front and back it, I it looks really nice I also uh, like her uh, torso, it's cool as well, and also you get pink arms, which are not very ca common, She al and she also has just gray pants, so she is exclusive to this set, like Remus Lupin, and this next, this is the Dementor, and he is my favorite, uh, or one of my favorite minifigures from this set, I would say number two, and he has a uh, cape, uh, or a hood on, which looks really cool. As you see, you see, can see the mouth, and I think that looks pretty scary. Uh, he also has a ripped up cloak here, which I believe was from Lord of the Rings with the uh, ring, wraith, ring wraiths, and I think that's really cool. As you can see on his torso print, it's it's like a rib cage, and there's guts falling out of it. Very uh, creepy. He also has the, um, this bottom piece from one of the Ninjago uh, Sons of Mordo set or whatever and uh, from the Ghostbusters Firehouse set. So, yeah, that is it for this figures, and now for the three boring figures of the set. I would say this is better of the usual uh, two, just because she has an exclusive uh, torso print, which looks really cool. It's a sweatshirt with a bunch of colored lines on it, and yeah, everything else part of the minifigure, pretty boring, pretty bland, and I'm not gonna waste my time, so... This is Harry. You've seen him before. You've seen him before. This doesn't matter. And this Ron. You've seen him before. You've seen him before. It doesn't matter. So now let's get right into the two trolleys. Of, of course, the trolley that the uh, trolley witch carries. That was a tongue twister. Uh, so as you can see on here might be a few uh, candies. And right here is a uh, every flavor beans pack and a chocolate frog. And you could just easily push that as easy as possible. It's, and uh, it also has these Technic things as the wheels. I wish they had the other wheels that they use for the old, um, older trolleys in the Harry Potter sets, but yeah. This is this trolley, and the uh, second trolley in the set is uh, Ron's trolley, and he has scabbers on it, along with two suitcases, pretty much the same. I do, however, uh, this is a good trolley. Harry's trolley is a good uh, trolley to have in the, uh, along with the set, which you can get uh, by buying Ho Harry's Hogwarts Journey or Poly Bag or whatever. Pretty nice Poly Bag. And yeah, that is it for these trolleys. Now I'm going to go into the train, train station, and it's extremely long. And it's about two base plates long, I would say. So it doesn't fit every all the time. But it looks really cool. I really like how the, what they did with this. How it kind of goes up over here, and then it goes, it goes through here. Of course, this uh, part right here up until that wall is um, King's Cross Station, which is an actual place in England or London. 
And as you can see, there's nothing over here, just stairs that lead up. Here is there's also just uh, more stairs that lead up, and there's a bridge that goes over the uh, Hogwarts Express, which is really beautiful. I like how they did the railing as well. And as you can see, there's a clock that you can turn the uh, hand, hands around, and that looks really cool. It also has a sticker that says King's Cross Station on there. Or it doesn't say station, but it says King's Cross. Referring to that, it's King's Cross Station. There's also a lamp right here, which looks cool. And then the, one of the cooler features with this is you could get a minifigure, and they could go through the wall just by moving that. I don't really want to do it right now because I'm going to knock everything over. But yeah, it's a 9 and 10, and they actually weren't lazy and put stickers on each side. So that is that is uh, pretty cool. So over here, you could see that the lamps have changed, which is actually really uh, cool. I like how they did that effect. And there's a sticker, which is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things from the set, the little details. It says Platforms 9 and 3 quarters, Hogwarts Express, and then there's the Hogwarts logo at the, at the top left hand corner and over here you have two daily prophets on the stand uh, saying uh, daily prophet exclusive Harry Potter the boy who lived you know basic Harry Potter stuff and if you move it up this lamp it says wanted uh, and it's series block on there which I think they should make a set this summer that has series block in it I don't have a series block figure because he the last time they made a figure of him was in 2004 and obviously at that time I wasn't in collecting Lego yet Harry Potter. So yeah, that's that. And now we're going to go right into the train. Uh, don't uh, butcher me in the comments, but I don't know much about trains. I just know that they move and they have tracks. But uh, if you could try to remove this thing. Oh, never mind. Okay, so right here is the Hogwarts uh, castle thing. And, uh, and it's on both sides. It's actually printed, which I really like. It's a pretty nice this is not printed this is a sticker but it's uh, five nine seven two and there's a few nails on there it's pretty cool right here we have these two little studs I don't know what they are don't know what this is but I do like the chrome that they have here and here very nice I don't really have many chrome pieces because they're harder to have and then we also have this uh, clip in the front here so that's also pretty cool and if I just try to Oh, there we go. Over here, we on the front, we have these, uh, uh, don't know what they are. Uh, we have this, don't know what it is. Sorry, I don't like trains. I don't know them. I just like the Hogwarts Express. So, right here, we have another printed piece, which is probably my favorite printed piece in the entire set, just because it has, uh, everything. It just looks so beautiful. And then we have two lights right here, which look cool. And one of my favorite parts of the set when I was building it is that when you move this back wheel, this just keeps spinning in and out and in and out. I love, oh crap, I love this so much. I just, and whenever the wheels move, it's like an actual train and this moves. And I also um, like how that if you look at this side, there's metal, which I think if you have a train track, which this set doesn't come with, I wish it did, but... It would probably boost the setup to $90. So we have uh, some stickers here. It's, you know, just general uh, Lego stuff. We have the front wheels. We have the other three wheels. Oh, and the roof also comes off. Thank you for reminding me, gravity. Um, and then in here is the little fire thing to put the coal in to keep the train running. And then we have the uh, two pressure things to see the pressure of the train or whatever I don't know what I'm talking about we also have these two poles right here to make sure no one if someone gets close to the edge they could always hold on to it and not kill themselves by falling off yes yeah, very brutal um, I like that sometimes second cart so this is where that you would just keep the coal and nothing in there and if you were to transport this stuff obviously you put a bunch of luggages in there that's what this is meant for, but I don't have any luggages in there because I like to have my minifigures with my their luggage, and yeah, that is this. Oh, this is kind of dirty. Yuck. I don't even I don't even use this. I haven't seen this in forever. So yeah, there's two wheels right here. Metal axles. I love this. Lego. Why? Why? You should make like actual 
metal pieces. This is like, like I know this is meant to. I know this is meant to go on like a track, and I guess this would, if this was a motorized track, it would uh, have the electricity uh, be generated because of the sides of the wheels. But yeah, I really like this. Obviously, there's a sticker right here that says Hogwarts Railways. Didn't actually notice that. And this is one of the carts that are is, is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, I would say. And it, if you take this roof off, which is, you know, has these studs on it, which is cool. You can also pop this off to get inside of it. And, you know, this it's symmetrical to this. And, yeah, you have these sand blue seats. I really like that. I also like how you're able to uh, tile all this area here. And you could put the trolley witch in here if you want with her cart. If I ever put, I usually store her cart right here. Just keep it there because there's no other place to put it at all. But yeah, there's two seats right here and right here. Not very uh, spacey. And one thing I don't like is that you can't have them uh, sit. You have to have them stand. And when they stand, their hand gets in the way. So you have to kind of stand them like that. And, you know, you can't really fit another person unless they're in, they're in actual minifigures. So that's the pro there's just a huge space issue with this, but it is also uh, makes it go out completely out of scale. But yeah, so this is the Hogwarts Express and uh, station set. I uh, hope you guys liked the review. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, join my Discord, comment down below, stay tuned for my next video, and I'll see you next video.